Have you ever wondered what a minimalist tech bag for a college student looks like as an iPad user? I'm Maxwell, this is Maxwell Bates Talks Tech, so let's get into the video. There'll be chapter markers in the video description to all these things, so if you don't find what you're looking for, skip to those different spots. Okay, so first, water bottle, staying hydrated is important. This one's Life Factory. They make amazing water bottles, they make amazing products in general. They're a bit pricey, but they're very good quality. That's, that's a running theme throughout this whole thing, is minimalist, but I really like this water bottle. Great for tea because it's glass, so no BPAs or BPPs. Okay, so, and then mask because COVID and work at home and all those things, but there is also great for if it's really cold outside, keeps your nose and mouth nice and warm. So I have an 12.9 inch iPad Pro on a stand right there and it's recording. So it would generally be in, in this bag. The bag is the Samsonite bag, just lots of pockets in it. The important thing is these things. So starting off, Smart Folio. This is great. It's great for students because you can just wipe off any stuff on it because it's waterproof and at least this section is and it works well it really improves your productivity it can easily 10x your productivity being able to use shortcuts and keyboard shortcuts and other things like that i'll show you lots of different things uh, later on in the video how to improve your productivity from an ipad and tips and tools okay then we have my audio technica headphones the ath m50 xbt's for bluetooth they're the standard in the industry for a reason. They're reasonably priced and they're low latency and amazing and have a decent sound signature. I'll have later on in the video something that is much more pricey but could be much more versatile. And they're very comfortable and very durable. The only thing is they're micro USB, which is kind of annoying. But other than that, I really like them. Then my iPhone of choice is the iPhone Tennis Max. I could use an iPhone 11 Pro Max, but this has 3D touch and that makes it a lot more accessibility friendly and I'm a big proponent of accessibility and making thing more, things more accessibility friendly. And it has a moment case on it with wood back which gives it some grippiness and also makes it nice. Which I have two lenses in here, this is the a moment carry case for moment and I always carry at least two lenses with me, a 18 millimeter and a 58 millimeter, basically a telephoto and an ultra wide. I also have a lens cap on the front and back. These are really helpful to make sure they stay nice and clean. And the the case keeps them nice and well protected from scratches or anything like that. And then we have the aux cable gold tip, so better conduction and all those things for when you have to transfer audio. USB-C to lightning cable to charge things like your phone and Magic Trackpad and Magic Mouse 2, but I'll get into that. And then USB-C to HDMI cable, 4K, Cinema 4K, which is important. Cinema 4K can run at 60 hertz, so that's important. And it's USB-C and it's active cable. Okay, then Apple Watch charger with a little thing to keep the cable all nice and organized. This one's a USB-A. That one's the one that came with my watch, but I'll have another one that I'm showing you in a little bit that works well too. Braided Belkin USB-A to C cable, USB 3.1 Gen 2, black, so it distinguishes between the different cables. And it's very durable and great cash because sometimes you need cash, sometimes places don't take digital. A Sony audio recorder. I've been looking at getting an upgrade to something like a Zoom H4 or something like that, but right now I'm using this. And then pencil, HB number three pencil, and mechanical pencil, because mechanical pencils never go unsharp, where you have to sharpen number three pencils. But number three HB pencils are great because they make your hand writing look nice and pretty and reduce hand fatigue. Then Apple Pencil for my iPad Pro. Um, this is the second generation Apple Pencil. It's great, it has the double tap gesture, which is great for in Procreate or Photoshop, or especially in Illustrator and then Photoshop also for zooming in or out or other things like that. And I'll have more tutorials and how-tos coming out soon on that, so stay tuned. Then DJI Osmo Mobile 3 tripod stand. It's great, it has nice rubbery feet and is what this goes on. If I'm not using the Joby Gorilla Pod 5K, it could probably hold my entire backpack up. It's that strong. 
and it's great it's bendy so you can bend it around and, and then Joby mount this one's rotatable so you can turn it and it's you know it's 90 degrees or it's vertical so you can do vertical and horizontal and then up and down and it locks into place and you you know it's gonna it's trusty and it's gonna be there and it's well padded i have a video link in the video description for that um, for a full review and then this is a helpful very reasonably priced piece of tech this is a hub that also allows you to run and it has your wireless hub so you can run ethernet to it and i have a cat 6a Ethernet cable right here for when you're at school and the internet fails or you need to make a fast Wi-Fi network or a secure one to transfer files. This is really helpful and it has a USB-A so you can, you can use other cables that I'll be showing you in things in the future to connect this to wireless so you can access it wirelessly. And it also has an SD card reader to read your SD cards. And it's pretty fast and it's a battery bank also so it charges because if you need to charge something like your phone or something like that or Apple Watch. And then straw this one's a reusable straw because it's, it's more environmentally friendly and it's stainless steel and it's silicon on the inside all the way down to the top and bottom so you don't get those cold teeth and a telescopic straw cleaner which is pretty cool i've tried lots of different straw things like glass straws and things like that but this works really well and you don't have to worry about it breaking or anything like that like glass straws and it folds down really compact lightning to headphone jack adapter you'd be surprised how many people run into an issue where they need to listen to something and don't have this to plug into their phone or something like that you can make a lot of friends having one of these plus it's a good idea to have a backup then lightning airpods they're really reasonably pricey they're great for if you need to loan somebody out a pair of headphones and you don't want to load out something really expensive like these these are amazing but they're very expensive so fyi but if you're interested in investing in some good headphones for video editing or things like that sennheiser ie 800s and these are the clips six eyes i have a USB-C cable for this one because this one i generally connect to my ipad for audio editing because they have amazing sound reproduction astoundingly good better than the audio technicals and that's saying something and then clip six eyes these are great for my headphones and you can use them both on my ipad but stay tuned for a review i'll have that linked in the video description in the future and then in a case to keep them nice and protected because the those are both very expensive headphones but they're worth their value i believe they're totally worth the cost then two things that are really helpful for students uh, especially as an ipad user samsung x5 thunderbolt 3 ssd it's also technically Thunderbolt 4, but it's really fast and looks pretty. And so as vain as it sounds, aesthetics matter. And so this is really nice and helpful and great for when you need to transfer files between computers at school. And it's Thunderbolt, so it's PCIe and has a little light to tell you when it's connected, which is helpful and blazing insanely fast. And then let's see Rugged Pro SSD. This is my all time favorite external SSD. This this is probably one of my favorite things on this table other than my IE800s. These are, this is amazing. It's Thunderbolt 3, it's fast, so it also can, it, this one doesn't do USB, but this one does. This one's also IP67 dust and water resistant, and let's see, has a great warranty, so if you ever have an issue, you just send it into them and they'll reconstitute your data as long as it, it, it's in their great warranty. Even if it isn't, they're very, great and they're a standard for a reason in the industry, especially as a multimedia student. And it's amazing, it's fast, it, especially as a, if the instructor's like, I have to go! And you're like, okay, I need to transfer the you this file. You can transfer like gigs and gigs of data. By the time it plugs in, it's pretty much done, which is super helpful. And then this is a video mic me lightning from Rode to connect to your phone for to have a shotgun microphone. It's super helpful and it has an audio monitoring port so you connect to your IE800s or Clip 6i's and uh, monitor the audio. I wouldn't recommend doing some of these other ones because they don't have as good reproduction but and then this is a really helpful thing for making friends and things like that. This is a chiffon multi USB cable. It has lots of different cables in it. It has micro USB, mini USB, USB type C and lightning and USB A. And it charges relatively quick and it's very reasonably priced. We have this, which is a hero clip, which is super helpful. I have these on most of my bags. It's so you can hang things up. So if you're in the bathroom, you don't have to sit on the floor or things like that, or you can hang your bag on the desk. It's really helpful and it's generally just a good idea in general to have a carabiner. These are really strong, they're very well built, 
And then, okay, we have, for a more budget-friendly alternative, we have the Samsung T5 SSD, which is also low power, which is a key distinguisher between these two because these aren't low power. This one's a low power. It's not as fast as these are at all. It's the slowest SSD here, but it's very reasonably priced. And this one's the one terabyte one. It's one of the first Samsung drives I got. And then this one's the new one, the Samsung T7. And this is the non-touch because the little circle is distract. The touch ID authentication circle isn't distracting, especially for people with accessibility needs. And helps you concentrate better. So this one's PCIe MDME and it's really fast. It's not as fast as these, but it's very fast and it's a standard in the, in the industry for a reason. And it's very thin. This is like the size of a business card. So they easily fit in your pocket and they're metal. So they're very dirty, rugged. They're not as rugged as this one is, but. Okay, and now going on to dongles because dongle life is a thing especially as an Apple person. USB-C to A, I'm a big fan of Apple's dongles. I have some third-party dongles, but these are this is my minimal version. This is Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 slash Thunderbolt 3 to DisplayPort adapter, HDMI to VGA. This is Apple's multi-port adapter. It's USB-C power in uh, HDMI. It can do 4K, 60 hertz, and it has USB-A also, and it's very reliable. I can You can put through a lot of power through this and not worry. I'm very confident in this, where a lot of third-party dongles I wouldn't be so confident in. But I've never had an issue with the, with any of the Apple ones. And then Belkin 10 gig to USB-C network adapter. This is great for your iPad to connect into a network. It automatically connects. It's like magic. I have some other ones that connect, but you have to authorize and renew the lease, where this one automatically connects and it's amazing. And then Apple camera connection kit adapter for your iPhone or older iPad right here, 9.7 inch iPad, which was my first iPad. And it's great. It allows you to plug in power and then things like an audio recorder or other things like that. Or SSDs, transfer files off your SSDs for video recording from your class lectures because recording your class lecture is helpful. So then you can record it, you can do it later because the teacher generally explains it best in my experience. Then Thunderbolt 2 to gigabit ethernet adapter because most of the computers at school have Thunderbolt 2 on them and if you want to run a network between two different network devices like network between this and a computer at school because as an iPad only user who believes strongly in the iPad lifestyle that's important and then band-aids because band-aids are important Ziploc bag this one's a really big Ziploc bag um, get the Ziploc Ziploc don't cheap out so if you need to keep something nice and dry you can put it in here and then screen cleaning thing wipes and then sugar packet just in case you bonk from bicycling or something like that. Bonking is when you run out of glycogen or if you have an emergency where somebody like this with type 2 by diabetes needs some simple carbohydrates. Lavender hand sanitizer. This is my favorite hand sanitizer. I'm a vegan. So this is my favorite hand sanitizer. It's Dr. Browner's lavender hand sanitizer. It's organic, uh, fair trade, not just for animals, vegan and great. And lavender has been shown to decrease anxiety levels. So it's excellent when you're taking tests or things like that. So pro tip. And then bridge keyboard. This is great. It has the full number of keys and it's backlit, which is an important distinction that this doesn't have. It's backlit, which is helpful. And it has the full number keys and it works great for this. And it also connects to your iPhone. So you can have your phone connected to it. And then you can also either have your phone or iPad or whatever connected to a magic mouse the magic mouse 2 is super helpful for being a mouse using your ipad to as a mouse or in photoshop or things like that you can map different things to it and you can right click actually right click and things like that when using photoshop or whatever you're using, or writing papers with a keyboard when you're at school you can set up like your whole desk setup at school your mobile college desk setup and then magic trackpad 2 for gestures and things like that so then you don't always have to be reaching up your hand up to the screen and doing zombie arms or things like that. And then USB-C Apple Watch charger. If you get the stainless steel one, you can easily distinguish it between all the other ones. And it's USB-C so it charges with all my USB-C things. I have the, the 86 watt charge brick from Apple for charging my iPad Pro or other people's laptops. You'd be surprised how many times people go to school without a charger and they'll be they'll become your best friend if you can charge your, their laptop and they need it for school or something like that. And then 
30 watt brick for my older iPad or 18 and then 5 watt brick just because you always seem to find occasionally that you need a USB-A charger and they don't take up that much room and I'm, I'm a big proponent of Apple's chargers. I know they're expensive but they're good quality chargers and you don't want to be charging your device with a knock off something that's not good quality. Your devices are as expensive so use good quality chargers. And then, oh, quarter. Quarter is important. Uh, to adjust your tripod or things like that or use a screw head and or just as a quarter for your Joby Gorilla Pod. These are great. And then of course we have Thunderbolt 3 cable and Thunderbolt 3 cable 2 meter and a short one that came with the Lucy Ruby Pro SSD. And then Compass 12 South for our mobile tablets and iPad. The best stand I found, the best mobile stand for your iPad especially for the smaller iPad. Then AirPods Pro. AirPods Pro are active noise canceling and water resistant and in-ear. And so they're wireless, so you can go running or things like that in them. They're, they're pretty good, I like them. I'll have a review on them linked in the video description in the future or check out in the future. And then AirPods 2 while with wireless charging case. I actually, for the most part, use these more than I use these. I rarely use these because these allow sound through so you can hear what's going on. So if you're in class, you can listen to your keynote presentation or something like that. And then, but also hear the instructor. So, or you can have one of these in and then be monitoring your audio with a pair of audio with one of the IE800s or Clip 6 size. These are amazing. They're great and a very accessibility friendly. And they're cheat charging, so you can just set them on a cheat charger when you get home. And then earplugs, beige earplugs are important because that way you don't have bright orange earplugs in your ears. Tip, get earplugs with different density phones in them so then you can block out either low or high frequency sounds or just the most as possible. So then when you're listening to things, you can distinguish things better or it help you protect your hearing because your hearing is important and help you concentrate if you're somewhere noisy. And hair ties, you can use um, regular tech ties, but I find these are pretty durable and they you just wrap them up and they're great for all sorts of other things, especially I have two of these here so that you can tie off your pants when you're bicycling to school and you, they don't flap up back and forth or things like that. And then we have this, which is, I use this as kind of a transfer files onto it and then hand it to people and if they lose it, I'm not that worried about it. It's a Kingston drive. It has 16 gigabytes on it. It's USB A 3.1 Gen 2. And then I have this, which is a little bit more expensive, but very much more useful. It's USB A and lightning. So you can transfer footage off your devices. It's very helpful. And then this little drive, which is also very helpful. It's USB-A 3.1 Gen 2 and USB-C. And so it's super helpful. They transfer pretty quick and they're very small, so they're very easy to use. And SD card adapter for micro SD card. I have the micro SD card in the Sony recorder, but this way you can connect it to your RAV power, things like that. And then backup headphones. These are decent headphones, wireless. I've been looking for a better backup pair of headphones, but haven't found the ideal ones yet. But, oh, and gloves to keep your hands warm or protect your hands while you're bicycling or outside, things like that, or weighing outside before class. And then, of course, your iPad Pro or iPad, iPad. And USB-C to C cable and USB-C to A cable that came with the Samsung T7. I'll have a link in the video description to that video. And that's everything. So what is your favorite accessory that you use with your iPad? Or what is your favorite mobile accessory? Or what things do you like taking to school? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Like it if you liked it because it really does help. And I'm Max, and have a nice day. Bye!